Hello, my name is Mandela Baptiste, a contract specialist, and today we're going to talk market research. During this training video, I'll explain market research, its importance in the acquisition process for procuring goods and services for the government, and we'll look at a scenario to better assist you in ensuring your market research report is thorough and complete. So, just what is market research as it relates to contracting? Market research is a continuous process of collecting and analyzing information about capabilities within the market to satisfy agency needs regarding the following. Commercial capabilities, warranties, business practices, delivery, pricing including financing and discounts, other standard terms and conditions, and also incentives. The process is used by the contracting officer in order to take the most suitable approach to acquiring, distributing, and supporting supplies and services. When is market research conducted? Market research is conducted in the earliest phases of acquisition planning before any documentation, such as the performance work statement, develop. Federal Acquisition Regulation Part 10 or FAR Part 10 specify that agencies must conduct market research appropriate to the following circumstances. One, before developing new requirements documents for an acquisition by that agency. Two, before soliciting offers for acquisitions with an estimated value in excess of the simplified acquisition threshold. Three, before soliciting offers for acquisitions with an estimated value less than the simplified acquisition threshold when adequate information is not available and the circumstances justify its cost. And four, before soliciting offers for acquisitions that could lead to a bundled contract on an ongoing basis. Market research is also conducted when an organization is exercising an option and must determine if the prices offered and previously negotiated are fair and reasonable. Now, let's take a look at a customer and contracting office scenario to get an idea of the process of developing the market research report. Hi, are you Katie? Yes, come on in. Hi, my name is Anthony Barker from the PM office. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Thank you. I'm glad we could meet today to discuss your requirement. I had some concerns regarding the market research report you've submitted. After reviewing the market research report, items that should have been included, such as a thorough description of the requirement, background or procurement history, and potential supplier information are either missing or not explained in detail. I'm glad you brought this to my attention and I apologize for the missing information. I was concerned about some of the information and some of the guidance on how to document my market research and was hoping that you could possibly assist me with that. Of course, we're all a team here and I'd be glad to assist you in documenting your market research information. Knowing when it's warranted, what its purpose is, and how it should be conducted will help clarify things a little for you. Let's go over it now. All right. Now, let's think about how Katie can assist Anthony to help you better assist your customers. When is market research warranted? In general, any procurement scenario where the federal government wants to determine if commercial items or non-developmental items are available to meet the government's needs or could be modified to meet the government's needs is a candidate for market research. Unique instances where the market research may be warranted includes component breakouts, terminations, and contract modification. The extent of the market research will vary depending upon factors such as urgency, however, do not rush, estimated dollar value, complexity, and past experience. Another thing Katie may consider when talking to Anthony is what the purpose of market research is. Market research is used to determine the suitability of the marketplace for satisfying a need or requirement. It will determine trends that may affect a procurement, how other activities are acquiring similar items or services, what leverage the government may have in the market, the extent of competition and small business opportunities, and whether the service or the item can be obtained commercially. Information gathered from market research will help the acquisition team develop the best strategy for meeting the requirement. The ultimate goal of market research is to help the acquisition team become informed consumers. Given this information, one may wonder just how market research is conducted. 
Market research is conducted in several ways, which may include contacting knowledgeable individuals in industry and government, reviewing results of recent market research, publishing formal requests for information or sources sought, including draft requests for proposals on the Federal Business Opportunities page, querying government databases, participating in interactive online communications among industry personnel, acquisition personnel, and customers, obtaining source lists from the contracting activities, reviewing catalogs and other product literature, conducting a dynamic small business search, and conducting interchange meetings, industry day, site visits, and or pre-solicitation calls. Anthony, now that we've had our meeting and you know what market research is, when and how it is conducted, and its purpose, do you feel a bit more confident in preparing a market research report that would be acceptable in procuring your requirement? Yes, I do, and I will submit a new copy very soon for you to review. Great. Contracting is here to assist in any way possible. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Market research provides numerous benefits in planning acquisitions. It influences the performance work statement, item description, by refining the requirements in industry terms and identifies salient characteristics for items. It is central to designing an acquisition strategy and or acquisition plan. It contributes to the risk assessment analysis. It identifies potential discriminators for evaluation, such as evaluation criteria. It identifies effective contract structure. It affects the buying strategy, full and open, set aside, or sole source by understanding the distribution and support capabilities of potential suppliers and possible alternative arrangements. It determines specific contract terms and conditions, and it also identifies potential problems concerning product design, obsolescence, life cycle support, and technical data rights. Market research also helps the acquisition team become familiar with the requirements of laws and regulations that are unique to the product or service to be procured, identify the level of market competition and the number and size of potential sources that are capable of meeting the government's requirements, understand customary practices associated with the product or service that is required, identify capable small businesses that can perform the work in either a prime or subcontracting capacity, understand what alternative solutions the marketplace can provide, and whether the government's need can be met with non-developmental items. Please reference the following regulations for further guidance on the topic of market research. Thank you for watching. Have a great Army Day.